I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm gonna show you top 10 quilts today using charm packs. Now, charm packs are really awesome. They are five inch squares, and pro tip, if you're trying to pick fabrics for a quilt and you don't wanna spend too much money, you can kind of flip through. You'll see the scale, the color, and all of that. But you know what? You guys came here to see some quilts, so let's get to it. My first quilt I'm showing today is called Not Today. It's designed by It's Emma, and it uses three charm packs or 89 five inch squares. This has one size, it's 53 by 68, and we sewed this quilt up using Lighthearted by Camille for Moda Fabrics, and this fabric right here is Crossweave Graphite, and we put a white binding on the outside. I kind of felt like that would not take away from the background, and we put a fun backing. So this is quilt number one. Our second quilt in this video is Rockin' Around by It's So Emma. It's 48 by 48, and it uses one charm pack. And I picked this one because I thought it would be great to have something seasonal in this video. This quilt features Beyond Bella, which is Bella Solid printed with a hashtag on it. And for the lights, we use Coriander Seeds Background, which is by Cory Yoder. And this one uses one charm pack or 45 inch squares and one and a quarter yards of a background plus your binding and backing. Our third quilt is called Threadbare. It's designed by Camille Ross Kelly of Thimble Blossom using her fabrics. This fabric right here is Sunny Side by Camille. This quilt finishes 76 inches by 76 inches. It uses two charm packs or 64 five inch squares. And what I love the most about this quilt is it uses almost the full charm pack so you have very little waste and you can have fun with your binding and your backing. Our fourth quilt is Diamond Dust by Vanessa Gertzen. It's 75 inches square. It uses two charm packs, background, border, and binding and backing. If you don't wanna use two charm packs, you only need 63 five inch squares. This quilt features the Lollipop Garden Collection by Layla Boutique. And what's really cool is this one cuts up your charm pack so that you can use it in lots of pieces. So it's totally different than the one before where it used big pieces, this one uses small pieces. Our fifth quilt is called Iconic 2 by Vanessa Gertzen, and this one is 62 by 72. It uses four charm packs, it uses the full square, or if you don't wanna use charm packs, you can use 132 five inch squares. This features the Old Glory Collection by Layla Boutique, and you also need two prints right here for your accent and background. You can pick a fun binding and a great backing. Our sixth quilt is so fun for the spring. It's called Sunshine and Daisies by Bev McCola of Flamingo Toes. It's 60 by 76, and it also has a bonus size for table runner if you wanna make a table runner. This quilt uses three five inch stackers, a background, an accent piece, border, binding, and backing. And this one, Bev designed the fabric and the pattern, and she sewed this one up using the Sweet Acres collection by Riley Blake Designs. Happy Spools by Sherry McConnell is so fun. It has two size spools, and you use the charm pack for the center of the spools. You'll also need to add a gray fabric. Um, she used four different ones, sashing, inner border, outer border, binding, and backing. But this one is really fun because you could totally use this from your scraps. The throw size that Sherry made is 50 by 50, and there's also a size for a mini quilt, which is 23 inches square. And again, you use one charm pack, and this one features the Bountiful Blooms collection by Sherry and Chelsea for Moda Fabrics. Barn Star 2 by Cory Yoder of Coriander Quilts is so cute. I love the star and I really, really love the border. This one is 40 inches square and it uses two charm packs that are used within here. Obviously you need background, border, binding, and backing, but this one is so fun. It features the Sunny Side Up collection by Cory Yoder for Moda Fabrics. And this is our ninth quilt also by Cory Yoder called Kindred. This one is a big quilt at 76 by 88. It uses one charm pack, obviously background, borders, binding, and backing. And this one features the Sun Drops collection by Cory Yoder with a really fun Bella Solid Pistachio color 134. So fun, very easy, and great for scraps. 
And I saved the smallest for last. This one is Building Blocks by April Rosenthal of Prairie Grass Patterns, and it's 39 inches square. It uses two charm packs and a variety of backgrounds, and then you just put a binding and backing on it. So April sewed this sample using the Berry Basket Collection, and she put a fun print from a random collection on the back. So she's the designer of the pattern and the fabric. So cute, so fun, and really easy. Did your favorite charm pack quilt make my list? If it didn't, comment below and let me know what your favorite charm pack quilt is. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon on a Friday live stream where we have lots of tutorials and giveaways.